wondered how the date of Easter is calculated? Well, it's pretty simple to calculate the date of Christmas. I mean, it's always the same every year. It's December 25th. But what about Easter? Easter changes dates from year to year. How can we tell what the date of Easter will be? Well, I'm going to show you how and make a scratch program for it. So let's get started. Today, I'll explain how the date of Easter is decided, how to use an algorithm to calculate it, and how to make it in the scratch. Let's get started. It gets a little complicated, but let's try to crack open this mystery a bit. First, Easter must fall on a Sunday. Second, it must be after March 21st, the spring equinox. Three, it must be after the Paschal full moon. The word Paschal is derived from the word Pascha, related to the Aramaic word meaning Passover. The Paschal full moon date is based on the metonic cycle. The metonic cycle is a period of 19 years. After one metonic cycle, the moon's phases land on the same calendar dates again. Easter's possible dates range from March 22nd to April 25th. Calculated tables are used to determine the date of the full moon since full moons may be observed on different dates from different geographic locations. Now, why does Easter happen after the Passover, after the Paschal full moon? Passover is one of the most widely celebrated holy days in Judaism. It celebrated the exodus of the people from Egypt out of slavery and into the Promised Land. It was traditionally celebrated by offering an unblemished lamb. Jesus celebrated the Passover right before his betrayal, crucifixion, death, and resurrection. Jesus is, as the John the Baptist said, the Lamb of God. In fact, on the day of his crucifixion, Jesus fulfilled about 28 prophecies. See Isaiah 50 for 53 or Psalm 22 for many of them. Check out my video on the probability of one person fulfilling this many prophecies right here. Now, on to the math. I used Gauss algorithm and Geeks for Geeks code to create this scratch program. Here's how it works. I input the year and the output is the date for Easter. See, input 2021, output April. So, are you ready? Let me show you the scratch program. Because of this project's length, I'm gonna show you the whole program block by block with it already being assembled. Unfortunately, it's, well, near April Fool's Day, and this cat decided to come interrupt this video, so say hi. First, I started with this egg, which I found in the Costumes tab. I also made this green and yellow backdrop, right here. Now, here's the code. Start by dragging out a when green flag clicked block, and then an ask, enter a year, and wait block. This will be set to answer, so I enter 2021 for the year 2021. Now, here's how to do it. This is pretty lengthy, so hold on. Set A to answer mod, which is modular division, 19. Set B to answer mod 4. Set C to answer mod 7. Set P to the floor of answer divided by 100. Notice the order of these blocks. If you change up the order, then the program won't function correctly. So make sure you look at the order of all the blocks and make sure they are correct. Now, set Q to the floor of 13 plus 8 times P divided by 25. That's 8 times P plus 13 divided by 25 and the floor of that. Set M to 15 minus Q plus P divided by, in parentheses, P divided by 4 mod 30. So that's 15 minus Q plus P and we divide P divided by 4. We take this number, subtract from this number, and modulo that by 30. Set n to p plus 4, minus, in parentheses, p divided by 4, modulo 7, so p plus 4, p divided by 4, subtract the two numbers, modulo that by 7. Set d to 19 times a plus m, mod 30. And then here's the big one. Set e to n plus 2 times b, this is first and then this plus 4 times C, plus 6 times D, mod 7. So that's 2 times B, plus N, then 4 times C, plus 6 times D, add these two numbers, and then add these two numbers, and then mod it by 7. And then, finally, set Y to 22, plus D, plus E. Whew! That was a lot. Finally, there are a couple of exceptions. If D and E are equivalent to certain values, then we have to say an exception. So drag out two if-then-else blocks. 
if d equals 29 and e equals 6, then say Easter on that year happens at April 19th for 5 seconds. If d equals 28 and e equals 6, then say Easter on that year happens at April 18th. Otherwise, if y is greater than 31, meaning that it's past March, then say join Easter on the year happens at April y minus 31 in period. That's two join blocks for 5 seconds. And then, otherwise, say Easter on the year happens at March y, period, for 5 seconds. And that's basically the whole script. Thank you for watching this video. If you like learning about Easter, Scratch, and other fun stuff, hit the subscribe button. Watch out for my next video. Be there or be MC squared. See ya.